Galaxies come in all shapes and sizes. There are spirals like the Milky Way, galaxies that look like jellyfish, galaxies like a Hoag's object, which is a donut within a donut and nobody really knows why. And then there are the galaxies that only reveal their wild side when you see them in radio wavelengths. This is PKS 241455. It's known as an X-shaped radio galaxy, or XRG, because radio telescopes see it as a gigantic X in the night sky. Each one of its long, swooping arms is actually an enormous jet of particles blasting out of a black hole at the center of the galaxy. The two long arms of the X are absolutely massive, more than 100 times the length of the Milky Way. One thing that's really impressive is the enormous size of this. It's um, 1.7 megaparsec, so times three to light years, so four million light years across. The Milky Way is something like 30,000 light years across. Scientists like Bill Cotton, the lead author of a new study on this galaxy, think that somewhere between 3 and 10% of all the known radio sources in space may be XRGs like this one. But nobody was really sure how they formed, until now. In a new study, Cotton and his colleagues looked at this massive XRG using a special radio telescope in South Africa called Meerkat. The resulting images are the most detailed pictures of an XRG ever taken. Analyzing them helped the astronomers figure out exactly what was going on with these weird radio jets. And for starters, they're not really X-shaped. The initial thing is the double boomerangs. That They're the secondary lobes that go off to the side. They don't point back at the center. If you, you look at it, you, you can see a flow that comes around a, a bend. And there are what looks like flow lines, ridges in the emission that seem to go around a bend. According to Cotton, this is evidence of a phenomenon called hydrodynamical backflow. Basically, when the central black hole coughs up one of these jets every 10 million years or so, the jets blast through the galaxy and into intergalactic space. Pressure changes in the intergalactic medium force some of those runaway particles to turn around and fly back toward the galaxy. That's the backflow. So it goes out and then some of it comes back. And this you see very commonly in galaxies. Although usually it's, it's more, there's a big bulge in the middle rather than two more lobes. But something in this galaxy is physically deflecting the backflow, causing those particles to swoop out at an angle and turning each jet into a big boomerang of energy. According to Cotton's study, it's probably the halo of hot gas near the galaxy's edge that's causing that deflection. When you started uh, the study, did you have any hunch or hypothesis about how these sort of boomerang jets are created? Yes, the hydrodynamic backflow model had been one that had been proposed. We looked at this image and just looking at it in 10 seconds, you said, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, it's just such a major advance in the imaging technology that it, it was a slam dunk. This model might not explain every XRG in the universe, but at least in the case of Galaxy PKS 201455, it looks like astronomers have found the treasure buried under the X.